was on special during the Black like, Friday. But there is what the hell. One more second. So, yeah, I was debating on whether or not to play episode 6 of Game of Thrones or episodes 1, 2, and 3 of Minecraft Story Mode. Or play this, and I figured because of the, what time it is, I figured I'll play this, play a different game, and then probably sometime, maybe Thursday, I'll play one of the other episode games. I don't know much about this game, I did see a review for it, but that was probably about two months ago. Oh, we do have a thing where it shows you preview. Please, take the home. Mowing the dead? Behind the map and the new untouchable. There's no release date though. I was I wasn't sure if this was something like where you play episode one and then bam the rest of the season's there. Oh there's also um King's Quest. I didn't know if I should play that, but I heard it's like four hours long for just the first episode, so it's like, yeah, I think I'll play that some other time. I actually don't even know if you guys got that or not. So I guess the old, uh, the whole season one, I guess we'll call this, is about a case of missing children? Or is it just specifically episode one? I heard a child scream, so it was just like, huh. At the beginning you see a newspaper article saying missing children. Uh, it's a psycho freak. Cult guy, maybe? I'm getting uh, some movie scenes from Changeling and Kiss, kiss of the girls? Kiss the girls. Her red it's shoes. Your turn. Try to escape from the cell. Is that supposed to be their bathroom? There's toilet paper next to it and a bucket. No. Whoever, I don't think this... That cult guy, the guy in the mask, is keeping them for long. Get me out of here. It's all black and white except for her ribbons and her shoes, it's all red. Maybe how many days they've been here? 14 days they've been here? Or for her she's been there? If we don't escape, I'll be punished. I've been bad. Kiss the girls. Uh, pickpocket. We'll be punished, just like Juliet. You see, one down. That just leaves yours and the one on the door. I'll be punished. I've been bad. I'll be punished. It's okay. Kind of like the guy from Changeling Two who had those kids captive. I don't want to be judgmental, but it looks like some of the graphics that are more distant 
it looks a bit um, unfinished. Not trying try to be judgmental and all. Is this Juliet's room? Because like when they show that cutscene, you see in the distance of that room, and it look like all digital still. Not finished. Like right there, the edge of that bed. There's blood there. I just go back in my cell and we can do this another time. I can go back in my cell. So much for looking around. What are you doing? Help me, please. There's Shut up. time to open both locks. Yes, quick. Try and help the boy. Quick, quick. Hopefully, the killer goes after the boy. Ah, I hid. But he's gonna know the door's open. I'm not inside. Horns. It is some cult guy. Traitor! She's been really bad, hasn't she? Oh. oh shit. It's right next to me. Great, first death now. I should have just ran away. If choices do matter, like you make a choice in the beginning and then it actually leads off a little bit, it actually matters a little bit more forward. And in the same episode, I bet if I ran, let that boy to his fate, I bet that saving that little girl would have done something. Hmm. The color red, you can definitely see it. It's like the girl, little girl from Schindler's List. There's a little girl, like, right when they're clearing out the ghettos. And it's all black and white the entire film. Excuse me. Where are the cops? Dirty cops, probably. In the film, in the distance, you see a little girl in color, and she's all in red. Like, her outfit's in red. And then you see what happens to her in part two of the film. So, like, huh, the color red is very bold here. I don't know the right words. Elliot? Just a second. Alice, I thought you were on the day shift. Pie? Pie. Well, I just slipped out for a second. This arrived for you at the station. Thanks. I'll put it in the back room, then I'll get you a slice of pie. Deal? I'm kind of in a hurry. What kind? Blueberry. <laughs> it's a deal. Department of the Interior. Pension. Agency Buffalo. New York. Elliot Ness? Oh, it was right there. Duh. Register's open. <coughs> Excuse me. That's how it goes earlier. It's not much, but I earned it. I don't know what you earned. I don't know what was there. It's seen better days. Like
like a lot of us. Oh, so he was talking about hey, that. Ness, where's my burger? Oh, shut up. Your burger in Kuwait, it's cooking. Capone can't touch us. Untouchables hit by the Mafia. Agent Jim Dogger's killed in a shooting. Al Capone convicted for tax evasion. Also, this is supposed to be like it takes place in real setting, but its own little fiction thing. Missioner. This retires. Ness, my burger, God damn it! God damn it, Ness! You gotta be the slowest waiter in Santa Esperanza. <laughs> I'm gonna <be> sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. The girls at Happy Doll say you're more of the speedy type. I won't keep you waiting again. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that's shut up. <laughs> There's no proof, so they hand him over to me. Elliot, seriously, I don't have much time. I don't know where the pie is. Is that the pie right there? It looks like a cake. I guess that's not it. Oh, it's right here. I wonder if he owns the place. Take your time. If Jenkins says anything, tell him it's my fault. And let him know that I'll continue to keep his agents waiting until he settles his tab. Uh. <laughs> I don't think I dare. Mm. But this is worth getting in trouble for. To think I didn't find my true calling until I was in my fifties. So we're gonna have to make a burger. Even the ketchup is red. Time, go easy on the chili sauce. <gasps> Gives me indigestion. I'm not gonna screw him. I'm not gonna screw him over. Okay, I tell him if you confess right now, I finish work on time and everybody's happy. If you don't, I have to work late. <laughs> oh, that uh, cola machine back there looks like the uh, juggernaut. Really from the Black Ops series. There you go. And listen to this, Ness. <laughs> and then I say to him, <laughs> the doctor will have to work late too, and it'll be Excuse your me. fault. He'll be mad. And when he's done fixing your mug, it'll be so ugly, you'll never get laid again. <laughs> he's saying, right? Yeah, <laughs> like a soprano. <laughs> and you know what I did next, Ness? Can I walk away? Celebrate? Violence or brag? What would I do with violence? Do I just make him like, eat your damn burger? <laughs> um, I'll make the guy happy. Let's celebrate. You went to celebrate at Happy Dolls. Ten minutes later, you walked out of there. Yeah, yeah, what the hell do you know? Anyway. The important part is, I rearranged the guy's face. <laughs> oh wait, are these dirty cops or is it just him? If he's a dirty cop, I should not have, have oh, given him oh a praise. Oh god, this burger is dry as dust. Are you sure you put sauce on it? Of course, Dickinson. A splash, to be precise. Ah, screw you, Ness. Someone's at the door. Highlighted red. Your first time here, right? I like this job, you know. Not because I like serving coffee or food. The customer didn't ask anything. This job is about understanding people, knowing what they want, what they need. You just have to keep your eyes open. The clothes, the haircut, a little movement, a hand clutching a knife. Oh. Don't even think about it. Not because of me. At most, I'd knock out a couple of your teeth. Is he a suicidal person? You. His bandages on his arm. The guys you should be worried about are the cops at the other table. They'd keep kicking you in the ribs long after you passed out. You'd be lucky to wake up in a hospital. This Ness guy, he sounds like a uh, girl oh, from the Witcher now. series. Kindness. Let's show him kindness. Buy yourself a suit, son. Get a shave. Get a job. And make a man of yourself. And if you come back here looking for trouble, you'll find it. This guy came to rob us? 
What a dumb move to coffee? do this in daylight. In daylight, and with three cops present. I forgot what was just said. I shouldn't talk so much. I forgot to thank you for bringing my pension check. Well, I saved you a trip. And a headache. The station's full of Dickinsons. Your dad would be proud of you. Thanks. They're not Jenkins. Excuse me. Easy there, miss. Slow and steady wins the race. Luke Cage. Mm. If I don't get some blackberry pie this minute, I'm gonna die before this day is out. Can you help me, sir? I'm afraid not. That's too bad. I need something sweet for my last day on Earth. Blueberry pie? Last slice. Hmm. You use almond extract? Quarter of a teaspoon. Which brand? I make my own. Do I know you from someplace? Me? No. But you do know my boss. Oh, and I thought he was just a friendly customer. The blood is its own color. 20 years ago. Hmm. I wonder what would be more fitting, having this 20 years ago segment be it's the tutorial or have the um that little girl be the tutorial garrison o'reilly de pietro dockers capone huh garrison o'reilly de pietro dockers Names of people? Garrison, O'Reilly, De Pietro, Dockers. Am I gonna have to remember that? Garrison, O'Reilly, De Pietro, Dockers. You, call your boss. I have business to settle with him. <sighs> Can't even enjoy a quiet smoke. Look, I get it. It's Christmas. You're lonely and you want to end it all. But Santa Esperanza is full of bridges. Why not throw yourself off one of them and leave me in peace? Tell Capone that Elliot Ness is here. We're going to finish this thing once and for all. Jeez, I don't get paid enough. Listen, you got it backwards. I'm not here to make my boss come out. I'm here to stop you getting in. Negotiate. I'll do you a deal. Do what I say, and when I've finished with your boss, I'll bury your police file in his grave. Hey, that's oh, not yeah. bad. Why not bury it in the same grave as your buddy Dockers? Ah, so they were people, victims, partners. You shouldn't have brought that up. Oh no? You gonna cry now? Hey, come on. It's Christmas. At the front gate. Oh, that's a terrible guard. Front doorsman. Put down your weapons. You'll get a fair trial. Oh wait. Sorry, I like to have up is down and down is up for me. Inverted. Yeah. Oh, that felt weird. Oh! He shot me! Oh. Oh, I figured... They said like, Oh, you shot Vinny! Because it was a headshot, I figured. You shoot them in the leg and shoulder, they'll just stop. 
That was a headshot. <laughs> Guess I'm not good at that. <laughs> it looked like a dance. Oh. I wonder if it's like the Call of Duty health where if you're open too much, screen turns red. Terrible at shooting right now. I don't know why. I think I need to change the camera settings differently. <sighs> Sucks. I have to do this. Everything else looks okay. I don't think there's nothing I can do to avoid all that. I know I even there's an option to shoot Compone. Compone, I, it won't matter. So we saw in, on the article in his office in the diner that he gets arrested for tax evasion. Owner, those are actual photos that Capone once uh, owned. I guess you have to get close enough to actually activate something. Have any last words? You come into my house? Your doorman was kind enough to let me in. You kill my men. I didn't know human beings mattered to you. Would you kill an unarmed man? You, Elliot Ness? You have my word. I'm not going to kill a man. Papa! Vittorio! Are you gonna kill me in front of my son? 
That stain right there is all that's left of Denunzio. One of my best men. I told him to take care of the butcher on East Main. One of the jerks who'd been screwing with me for months. We had to make an example of him. Send a message to the other storekeepers. Danunzio ripped out his guts and hung him up with the merchandise. But he did it while the butcher's daughter was watching. Can you tell this to me in front Fucking of your son? Denunzio. There are lines that cannot be crossed. We have to protect the innocence of children. Keep them far, far away from certain experiences. Tell him to go. Vittorio stays. He's my son, not a storekeeper's child. If his father dies, at least let him know who to take his revenge on. But that's not gonna happen. Look, Vittorio. <laughs> his hand's shaking. Booze turns men into cowards. You'll be like your father. Never drink. It's funny, huh? The white knight of the Volstead Act gets licked up to kill the king of bootleg booze. Ah. Got you. Relax, son. Nobody's going to kill anybody. I'd love to introduce you to a girl your age, Vittorio. Her name is Claire Dockers, and she sings like an angel. You two would get along. Two days ago, Claire's father caught up with yours in a warehouse. Your father was hitting innocent people, and that's not right. He told him to stop, but your father ignored him and pulled out a gun to shoot him. Claire's father was quicker. He drew his gun first and fired, but the bullet jammed. Your father killed Claire's father in cold blood. He kicked him in the face so many times, not even Claire herself would have recognized him. You'll never prove I killed Dacus. I know, and that's why I'm here. But now I know I'm better than you. Your father is a murderer, home. and Claire hasn't stopped crying these last two days, all because of.
Sorry. Hold it. Let him go. Run, Ness, and forget I exist. Or I'll have to report what you just did. And I do have witnesses. You hear me, Ness? Had the family dog with me, and he loves my grandparents, so I had to make sure he got with them. Back to the present. Hmm. So this detective has a personal connection with Capone. Mm -hmm. That's some first class pie. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. My car is parked outside. If you could join me as soon as possible. I'll be doubly grateful. Gentlemen, I'm closing up. Time to move along. So early? What are you talking about, Ness? Are you serious? Ruskiness. I don't know what that even means. Let's be friendly, though. Sorry, guys. I have to close up. Today's meal is on the house. Hey! Yeah, tomorrow's too, or I'm not coming back. You got that? Whatever no. you say, Dickinson. I should have loaded it into Docker's gun and shot Capone. Maybe it would have jammed again. But one way or another, it would all be over. You can't take it? I was going to convince rapists for a kill this family. It seems to be a rage attack. Hmm. I wonder if he'll be like a maybe a major threat of an episode to distract us maybe. Crispos. I guess they didn't have the rights or license to do coke. <clears throat> Excuse me. Suck it, Ness. And I'm always so friendly to him. Extra chili. No, double the chili on this burger next time. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a wanted board or missing cases missing persons board in this case so many kids what the hell does this freak want these kids Blues and bullets. He actually called his diner that? I'll admit, if I was walking by and I was hungry and I saw that as the sign, like, hey, I think I'll try it there. At last, Mr. Ness. Please get in. I could swear I've seen your face before. Sure. I'm the guy you served a slice of blueberry pie to five minutes ago. Thanks for remembering me. Please get in. I can't afford for you to catch a cold. Oh no, I forgot to lock the keys to my diner. Let me go back inside real quick. Never follow a stranger. I seem to have gone eight viewers. Thank you, who's watching? Thank you. The second chapter of episode one. I do hope that the next few episodes come out soon. So I understand that for King's Quest episode two, that's not coming out. I heard it from fans, I think, that December, will, that's when it's coming out, but I don't know. I haven't played it yet, though, so I don't know. The same for this, I don't know, I haven't gone online to check when episode 2 comes out.
will be going up in a couple of minutes. I'll wait for you in the cable car. Up where? Get to the cable car. What type of hat is that he's wearing? Is that supposed to be a sailor hat? Or a captain hat? <coughs> Excuse me. Triads. The Hindenburg. Her forced landing in New Jersey almost cost the lives of over 100 passengers. Her forced landing? Hmm. Yeah. Nearly a fireball in midair. It would have burned down half the city. Mm, there's no run button, it seems. I just want it to run a bit faster. Is that supposed to be a mask? It's a masked party, eh? Oh, that's a time station. The destination. Can I help him? I guess I can help him, even though I want to. A. Ryan, owner of Ryan Hotels, the visionary who transformed Andrew the Ryan. Oh, there is a run button's B. I guess I can help him. I want to. <laughs> it's a funny way he runs. Well, he is like in his 50s, so. Okay, let's go. Could have been a cutscene right there. There wasn't really much for me to explore or... Well, except for the two ladies. That could have been a cutscene. He's just walking and then, like, you have to make a choice where you want to look, to look first. And then you chose left. And, like, you see the two girls with the tattoos. And then right to look at the that little, that little blimp artifact. Prop, whatever. Since I was a kid, I like to keep my feet on the ground. <laughs> that makes two of us. You know, so we have something in common. Bag I have one. How high does this thing go? Wait, is it wired? Oh, I thought... Wait, it is leading to the blimp. Wait, what? Someone's overcompensated, I guess. Okay. I just looked onto the my Twitch account just to see if anyone commented because I can actually can't tell if someone did or didn't. Go to the reception desk. I think this is a what if kind of world. I wonder if all the ladies here, the workers at least, have the tattoo. I'm afraid I can't come with you. Thanks for the pie. But welcome to the Grand Hindenburg Hotel. My name is Susan, and I'm glad to be of service. Your name, please. Ness. Elliot Ness. 
Thank you, Mr. Ness. Nice choice. Sounds genuine. Mr. And Ness. Now, how can I help you? I'm here to see Mr. Capone. There's no Mr. Capone here, Mr. Ness. To Mainering? Listen, Susan. I don't know if he signed in as Mr. Capone, Mr. Scarface, or Satan himself, but I know he's here. And now you're going to tell me which room he's in, or you're going to have a problem on your hands. Or I'll just walk out. He's... he's in the presidential suite. Top floor at the end of the red carpet. They're using words Thank I don't you, know Susan. the definition to. Have a pleasant stay at the Grand Hindenburg Hotel, Mr. Ness. Grand Hindenburg Hotel, eh? Quite honestly, if there was like a hotel like please. that, where the cable car to Santa Esperanza leaves in three minutes. If there was like a hotel like that, kind of I would not go on that. Shit. You think it's going to be a quiet day and suddenly the storm hits you? That'd be uneasy. Uh, heights. Eh. If I'm like. 15 feet above the floor, it, it still makes me uneasy to be that high from off the floor. Well, I guess we'll leave now. Let's go. We have three minutes. Let's leave. I am curious what kind of... Higher than the clouds. Excuse me. What kind of... Uh, Things happen and events happen in this world. I sincerely doubt that there was a, a blimp like that that was turned into a hotel. So, I recently finished Life is Strange that dealt with time please. travel. The cable car to Santa Esperanza leaves in two minutes. It tells me that, but I can't leave either way. At least it tells me, like, you can't go here, you're not supposed to. You go in this direction. Hey, Ryan, owner of Ryan Hotels, the visionary who transformed the Hindenburg into the monument to aeronautical luxury it is today. Also, ah, maybe the Heisenberg, if that was the blimp name, I'm sorry, I don't remember. Maybe it did catch on fire, like we saw that little uh, toy version of it, but it never exploded. Maybe those people never died. Up here deserve every cent they make. I wouldn't do it for all the money in the world. Hmm. Fireworks in the distance. I wonder what happened recently. It would be cool though, like if there was ever an earthquake or something big coming, like a tidal wave, it would be helpful if you like were on a blimp, you know. Damn. Come on. Oh, not even the one at my place works. I'm referring to the in the game. Red shoes. A red drink. Just marry, do not disturb. And so one day my nest and flame wonder will purify. Turn fire. Fire. There's elevators on this blimp? How big is this blimp? Damn. It's gotta be huge if it has a train cart connected to it. Or however you call it. Damn. I wonder if Capone, or if it's someone saying he's Capone, knows something about these missing kids. 
Because it seems weird that that was brought up and then nothing again. Hmm. Oh, the trees are red. There's blood there. What happened here? Nothing to worry about, my good man. What happens on the Hindenburg stays on the Hindenburg. Or it just falls off, but either way it stays. Ethics or law? What is ethics? How can you work in a place like this? <laughs> you don't want to know where I worked before this, my good man. What, did you work in an underground city? Underwater city, sorry. Are you saying the law doesn't apply here? We're too high up, my good man. The law has always preferred to look down. You never had problems with the police? Oh, many a one, my good man. In fact, what I'm cleaning up is today's first problem. Today's first problem. I wonder what other problems will happen later on. Heard some slicey noise. Japanese garden. Oh, this is interesting. The Capone would be in something like this. There's a ring of fire there. I guess Capone's on our left. Charla, King of Knives. I wonder, like, the main thing of that game is to be able to get close Bravo. to hitting her. <laughs> I didn't press anything, though. I'm sorry. Is she dead? What the hell? I didn't think that would happen. Another death is on me, somehow. Or the first death. It isn't death, I mean. Just I'm counting those guys at that mansion, my deaths, but like, eh, it was inedible. There were bad guys. There's the staircase. If it wasn't Exit. for my habit of checking all possible exits when I walk into the lion's den, I'd be a dead man. Well, it doesn't look like there were that many guards to begin with. We have to shoot our, shoot our ways out. You should be rotting in jail. That's exactly what I've been doing for the last 19 and a half years. You'll be surprised what a little good behavior can do for a person. Yeah. Not gonna ask me for my last words this time. I'm a lot closer to death than when I last saw you. As are you. Why did you ask me here? Why did you come? Here I, I wanted to see if you'd improved with age. I'm glad to see the answer's no. When you said rot in jail, you really meant it, huh? Look, uh, I didn't ask you here to find out who's got the snappiest comebacks. I want to hire you. What? Did his grandson get kidnapped? Services as a detective. I don't know what your game is, but if your plan was to surprise me, you've succeeded. Look, Ness, my granddaughter Sophia has been kidnapped. Crap, that was a little girl. To my son, Vittorio, I, uh, I put her in a boarding school. Crap. She was entered under a false surname, Colombo. Nobody knows who she is. Nobody? 
Eh, only Milton. The man who brought you here. I trust him completely. Two days ago, a guy turned up at the boarding school. He introduced himself as Guido Colombo, the girl's uncle, and her new legal guardian. He said her parents had just died in a tragic automobile accident. He produced all the relevant papers, driver's license, the custody document supposedly made out by the father, the death certificates. He uh, explained away the fact that the girl didn't know him by saying he moved to Seattle before she was born. Any clues? Nah. Well, Sophia was wearing a blue dress with flowers that I'd personally ordered for her from Italy. Uh, she was also wearing white ballet shoes with daisies embroidered on them. It was I. As for the guy, the school principal said he was tall and slim, uh, in his 50s, no particular accent. Black hair, no beard, no glasses, well dressed, could be anyone. But I know he was hired by one of my old associates. Someone wants to finish me once and for all. Maybe they want control of what's left of my organization. Maybe they hate my guts. And I thought I was the only one who still hated you after 20 years. What else have you got? I got this. And I got you. You don't have me. My place is at my diner. And your girl's not there. Huh. So where should I be looking? Hmm. Police, obviously. He probably already has people in there. Mafia, probably somebody in his family trying to get rid of him, or opposing family. Mafia. I'm oh, not crap. Anymore. Call the station. We're meant to press B. The station. Are you serious? The cops are rotten to the core. I should know. I helped make them that way. Well, at least it wasn't a big decision. It didn't show that Why revolver me? thing. Twenty years ago, I pushed you to the edge. I bought your friends and killed the ones who couldn't be bought. I got you so obsessed with me that your wife ended up leaving you. When you had nothing left, you walked into my house, shot my bodyguards, and pointed a gun at me. You could have killed me. But you chose to restrain yourself. You even gave my son a lecture on ethics. You're the only honest man I know. I'll do it. Not for you. For her. I knew I got the right guy. But I want something in return. As you can see, I'm not short of money. Ask. I won't haggle. I say donation. You give your entire fortune to the Santa Esperanza Hospice. That won't be difficult. I've been donating to them for decades. And I don't need the money anymore. I don't give a damn what happens to me, Ness. You just saved Sophia. I hope we do save her, cause we, cause that you asshole kid got her killed, Carlo supposedly. Baccarini. How did you know? Biggest forger in Santa Esperanza. Wouldn't surprise me if Sophia's so-called uncle's papers were made by him. Besides, he's been cursing your name ever since we put you in jail. Hey, I treated him like a son. After you killed his parents. They were selling booze without my permission. Wait, you know where to find them? I have a good contact at the station. A girl. Rookie. Straight arrow. Reliable. We shouldn't give him no. the info of all you of our... You saying you trust her? You are kind of... such a chauvinist. Do you trust me? Deal? I'm not gonna punch him. A. Hey. That's a spirit. I'm not that kind of, that much of an asshole. At all times, huh? You hear me? I know you from somewhere. I hope it turns out that we saved them before from the past. Like that would be nice to know. Cause he's so far he's been okay with us. He hasn't been bad, so it's okay. I mean he hasn't given us much information, but still. Yeah, yeah. Not gonna ask me for my last words. You should be running. I'm never going to help you. I mean I'm not asking you to help me. I'm not a cousin. I'll do it. Not for you, for her. This town has become a jungle. Scraps of dignity we have left. And those who should judge them prefer to squander. 
Am I supposed to shoot at them? I hate to think that he's on a drunken rage. I'm liking this imagery stuff. It's awesome. You built my life. Got my feet back on the ground. But now he's back. And he's dragged me in. It was a choice, actually. He didn't drag you in. Could have said no. I'm gonna need help. Juice. Stay clean. It's okay to drink orange juice, it's okay. That's gonna be one of those things where if we answered sooner. Ness. Elliot, I found Carlo Baccarini. I knew you would, Alice. Write this down. 31 Wicker Avenue in Lakeview. Baby, nice. you're like, oh, nice uh, 28? Elliot, <laughs> what do you want with him? He's got a hell of a file. Mm, let's stay secret for now. Right now, it's better you don't know, Alice. What? Are you protecting me? I promised your father that I would. I'm a cop, not a little girl. Alice, I don't have much time. I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks. Just right now. Because he says he's... Well, I forgot. already forgot that she's relative, <sighs> almost. Going to be a long, long day. <laughs> I bet there's six chapters. Sure. At last. That stench of stale grease about you reminds me too much of my old job. You worked as a waiter? I was a chef. And not in any old kitchen. At the maximum security penitentiary on Gore Island. Can't think of a better way to do time. And how do you think I met Alphonse? Playing golf? Alphonse? On the subject of cooking, I know your blueberry pie had an extra something. I still don't know what. Alphonse. <sighs> so what now? You got a plan? Take a look around in case there's a rear exit. I'll take the main door. My pleasure. The fact that a criminal like him can hang up his shingle in broad daylight says a lot about Santa Esperanza. Someone took out sections of the fence. Odd. Probably to prove test of strength. Don't screw with me, Espinosa. Interesting taste. Been centuries since a gardener visited this house. Maybe Baccarini's business isn't going too well. Or he just doesn't care about his garden. Ordered up windows. The 
bell doesn't work. I guess Baccarini doesn't get many visitors. Baccarini? Carlo Baccarini? Nothing of interest out back. Sorry. You better come see this, Mr. Ness. What is it? I don't know how to describe it. Just look. Is he... Was he chained to the uh, chair there? Oh, crap. Is that our man? Baccarini. My God. We have to find out who did this and why. Let's go. You're the detective, Mr. Ness. Besides, Alfonso will want to see this. I'll be right back. All right. I have to establish how Baccarini died. Maybe the body parts can shed some light on the motive. Ooh. Borders to look at that, okay. Holy Christ, what the hell are we up against? That's a lot of strength. His teeth were all pulled out before he was killed. The buildup of blood inside his mouth speaks for itself. His eyes were pulled clean out of their sockets. What? Whoever did this, it wasn't their first time. They're if complete they psycho. Any other murders like this, it's likely that the police found some of the bodies. I must remember to ask Alice. I gotta remember that. That is one creepy psycho we are gonna have to deal with. Pity he won't last till Christmas, because he'd almost pass for a tree. There's no doubt the murderer took his time. Ooh. This isn't a cut. It's a tear. His hands were ripped off. Who has that kind of strength? Yeah, we're dealing with some kind of cult monster. Is that a... Ooh. What's he got stuck in there? Looks like the bottom of a glass. It's Baccarini, no doubt about that. Although the one I remember was more together. Ooh. Talk about strength, damn. Takes a strong man to tear that out. Or several. Let's stay on this floor. Looks like someone was dragged. The blood comes from the other side of the corridor and ends next to the body. He was attacked in the other room and dragged to the hall. Evidence suggests that the events began in the lounge. How did Baccarini encounter his murderer? Smashed table. Whatever crushed the table must have been really heavy, or maybe it was thrown extremely hard. Thrown, no doubt. circular dent, as if someone had tried to hammer in a gigantic bolt, around four inches in diameter. Looks more like the bottom of a glass, no? Probably the one that's in his side. Claws. Fingernails scratched the wood. Fingernails, sorry. Blood ran like water. struggle or was it already broken what kind of person takes off a wristwatch without unfastening it or fastens the strap again after taking it off blood blood everywhere 
Um, probably when it was ripped off, ripped off his hand, or the watch came off it too. So he's um, right-handed. This was opened recently. Smells of whiskey. Glass on the floor indicates the window was broken from outside. Mm. There's something under there. How did it wind up under there? There's one knife missing. One knife's missing. The biggest one. What is it with Italians and olives? They lap those things up like caviar. Like a true bachelor, he should have put these into soak. Hours of scraping to get them clean. Although at this stage, I don't think Baccarini's too worried about that. Four glasses. Two of water, two of wine. You had a guest. I've always been a whiskey man, but I know a good wine when I see one. Leftover lasagna, and it looks good. Why is it that two out of three Italian gangsters are great cooks? <laughs> I'll never understand what the deal is with them in cooking. The plates and the glasses leave no room for doubt. Baccarini had company for dinner. To the basement, maybe? Mm, shut from the inside. Now let's check the other room. I want to check this window over here. I guess there's nothing to check for. Someone left them there on display too. Just down. shut from the inside maybe between the two of us when Milton gets back if I'm not mistaken this door opens onto the same room as the locked door in the kitchen ah. he probably used that for the ice some kind of sticky liquid yep he used that for the ice Guess we have to go in there. Oh shit. I should have stayed in my diner. What the hell? Oh, he's moving it. Horns. Oh wait, the uh look at that finger, how it's all red. I can't go up. This is kind of twisted. <laughs> I have to open each of them up. <laughs> Jabbed into his hand. 
the mirror is broken and there's a satanic sign right there what is that looks like a ritual what was Baccarini mixed up in it's not good that if that same killer that was with the children was what did this so who knows what he plans to do to the children if he can do this to an adult and for a reason we don't know yet and what the hell is he gonna do to the kids it looks like he just beats them of anything at most for a at like least Baccarini. Are there sufficient reasons to believe that when the murderer attacked Baccarini, there was someone else in the house? The second guess. The first possibility to be ruled out is that the car belonged to Baccarini. Vermont plates. Someone drove a long way. <coughs> Excuse me. It looks like it's untouched. I guess the killer just came to do his business with Baccarini. Baccarini. Let's take a look in the glove compartment. Bingo. A man's cigarette case. Oh, B. One of the Baccarini clan? Go around the car. I think that's it for this room. A car with Vermont plates. The initials OB on a cigarette case. One, it has Vermont plates. Two, it's too luxurious for a criminal of his standing. Three. The initials on the cigarette case don't match his name. The next possibility that needs to be ruled out is that the car was stolen. There should be evidence that there was someone else in the house. Yeah, there was a uh, room for two. Dirty plates, glasses, and silverware from a dinner for two. The dirty dishes and glasses prove that Baccarini ate lasagna with one other person. Was Baccarini's guest still in the house when the murderer showed up? The lamp, torn off its brackets and blew. What looks like the bottom of a broken glass. Mm. The trail of blood from the dining room to the hall. A broken whiskey glass found in the dining room. No, I don't have enough witness or any evidence for witness, but for assault? A door in the kitchen. It opens onto the same room as the jam door in the corridor. I guess RB doesn't do much. Baccarini's teeth were all pulled out. The murderer tore Baccarini's hands off. What looks like the bottom of a broken glass. Mutilation, but... Baccarini's teeth were all pulled out. The murderer tore Baccarini's hands off. Hands ripped off, teeth torn out. I guess I'll have to rule out criminal intent or a personal angle. Baccarini's eyes still haven't shown up. What if I look for whatever was used to remove them? The spoon. I remember in the Walking Dead comic, a spoiler, uh, Michonne used a spoon to take out the governor's eye. A teaspoon stained Not pretty with blood soon. and some kind of sticky liquid. The mixture of sticky liquid and blood can only mean one thing. The spoon was used to remove Baccarini's mm. eyes. The mutilations the and the it. disappearance of his eyes suggest two possible motives. Psychopathy or cultist fanaticism. Which is it? Well, for definitely... Oh, the broken mirror isn't there. A sick altar of human flesh. Some kind of symbol drawn in blood. Although I don't know the origin of the symbol in the bathroom and the altar of flesh and teeth. I'd say the motive was some kind of a cult religion. The big question is, who did it? For a witness, we don't know yet. Yeah, they're probably in the locked room. And then for assault, um, we have 
We have what we need. It's just I don't know. A pistol, fully loaded. Pieces of glass from the window in the hall found inside. I'm the guessing house. right here. Broken whiskey glass found in the dining room. I oh, it tells you A you pistol, can't use it. Fully loaded. A door in the kitchen. A door in the corridor. It opens onto the sink. What looks like the bottom of a broken glass buried in Baccarini. Okay, I can't. An open bottle of whiskey. I'd say Baccarini was drinking in the dining room when his assailant burst in through the window. Baccarini pulled his gun, but the murderer disarmed him before he could shoot. Where did the torture begin? Torture, you say? Two pools of blood. One on either side of the dining room table. A broken table, scratched and covered in blood. A blood-stained wristwatch, with the glass broken and the strap fastened. The bloodstains show that the murderer began to torture Baccarini on the dining table itself. That was where his hands were torn off. As a result, his wristwatch fell to the ground. How did the body reach its current position? The trail of blood from the dining room to the hall. What looks like the bottom of a broken glass buried in Bakari. The lamp, torn off its brackets and blocking the stairs. What looks like the bottom of the this one, isn't it? Torn off its brackets. Bakari. Three mistakes so far. Three. Minus hands was dragged into the hall, where the murderer used the brackets of the lamp to complete his macabre diorama. All that's left now is for the witness. Now, how do we get into that room? I'm surprised we can't go up. I mean, yeah, it's blocked off, but we can't. We can't you know, what is it? We can't move it? I don't know what to do. To me, I found all the evidence I need except for what's in that room. But there's no indication, no uh, signs telling me, look here. Or interact with this. Yeah, I guess I gotta wait for that big guy. Can I pass him? No, I can't. I guess the witness it would be the two locked the rooms. The kitchen locked from a door in the corridor jammed shut. It opens onto broken whiskey glass found in the dining room. What looks like the bottom of a broken glass seems clear that Baccarini and his guest were drinking when the murderer took them by surprise. I didn't expect those two pictures is, to be the one. What happened to the witness? Did they escape? Did the murderer take them? Or are they still Excuse in the me. house? A door in the corridor jammed shut. A door in the kitchen locked from the inside. One locked door could be a coincidence, but two locked doors which open onto the same room can't be. Either I'm completely wrong, or the witness is in that room. But I need Milton to open one of those doors. How long does it take to make a phone call? Mr. Ness, can you open the door for me? Getting too spookedness. Calm down. It was open. Why did you ring? I thought I should use the doorbell so I wouldn't startle you. <laughs> when I came in, I pressed the doorbell and it didn't work. Well, in light of the facts, I deduced that it was your finger that wasn't working. Hmm. So, what can you tell me to restore my faith in you as a detective? What is that? Not a good start. It's a camera. So <laughs> I get it. All, All right. Follow me. Baccarini had company for dinner. Someone from Vermont with the initials OB. Someone whose social status was a lot higher, but who was on the same side of the law. He served lasagna, and after clearing away the dishes, they opened a bottle of whiskey in the dining room. 
That was when the murderer burst in on them, coming through the window which he broke with his own body weight. Damn. Now Carini, or maybe his guest, pulled a gun, but it was a waste of time. The murderer was so fast he was disarmed before he could fire. He focused his attention on Baccarini, totally ignoring the guest, and lifted him up into the air. He then threw him against the dining room table so hard that one of the glasses of whiskey was embedded in Baccarini's back. Mm. He span around, clawing at the table, and immediately afterwards the murderer ripped off his hands. I have no idea how he did it, but all the evidence suggests he just pulled. Blood sprayed everywhere. The wristwatch fell to the ground. Is it... Possible to actually to rip off someone's hole. hand like that? He tore down the lamp, hung him from the brackets, and stabbed steel rods through his body. He skewered him on the iron bars, possibly taken from the fence outside, and pulled out his teeth one by one. Ah. Finally, he scooped out his eyes with a teaspoon. Baccarini must have been dead when the murderer went to the bathroom with his hands and his teeth. There, he arranged them to make an altar. Weaving the fingers together and placing the teeth inside. Next, he painted something on the wall in blood, a symbol which I don't recognize, but which could have some kind of ritualistic significance. When he'd finished his artwork, he left. I don't know what he did with the eyes. You're telling me that someone did all this on with a teaspoon? More or less. And you worked all this out on your own, Zoom, just by looking. More or less. I don't know which of the two of you scares me more. Wait a second. What about the guest? Right. Come with me. Excuse me. Nothing. Turns out Mr. Untouchable isn't infallible, but you were close. Congratulations. This must be Baccarini's office. Let's take a quick look around. All yours. Is he done taking pictures? <laughs> Whoa. Jesus. There's at least a million dollars here. That's one mm -hmm. expensive guest. Baccarini's? I'd be surprised. Probably his guests, and I doubt it was to pay Baccarini for his services. None of his forgeries are worth that much. Maybe to get answers? Because you wouldn't give up a client like that. If you do forgery, you wouldn't give up a client. I don't do forgery. I work at McDonald's, so. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Carlo, I have the goods for OB. But I have to take the children to school tomorrow and I can't make the meetup. Friday, same time, same place. It's signed and I. Mm-hmm. These initials are getting to be a pain in the ass, right? I have to Almost. take the kids to school tomorrow. I don't think this is some loving divorced daddy, Milton. Ah, I take back what I just said. I said what I was saying earlier, I meant that because like the in films, license of one John they wouldn't do it. Forgers? Osmond Burke. OB. Hmm. Do we know him? The eldest son of the richest family in Vermont, convicted rapist. Ah. He was arrested thanks to the testimony of his father, who wound up disinheriting him. He escaped from prison last week. He the newspaper the in the diner. the throats of all his relatives one by one, opened the safe, and got away with a fortune. Uh, they don't make jails like they used to. All starting to add up, isn't it? Wanna check that? What the hell? I got useless. But this train, they can just tr uh, party charge him. What the hell? Get out! 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 Get out!
This can't be our killer. Was the guest? Damn, the monster! The guy who killed Boccherini? Now he was a monster! Oh, get your hands off me, Negro! What was he like? Oh, there is racism. Describe him for me. He was a monster, red and black. I mean, his head reached the ceiling. He, he tore off his hands with his claws. Claws. Monster, I was right. A monster! Should I hit him again? No. Burke, shut up. You're Osmond Burke, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. Good. Now pay attention, Burke, because I have a question for you. Note. I don't remember a note. Documents, uh, forgery, I guess. Suitcase. Let's go with the suitcase. Who is this money for? Uh, Nikolai Ivankov. Rings a bell. One of Capone's right hand men 20 years ago. What does this stuff about kids mean? A note. I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Calm down, Burke. You were going to meet up with him, right? Yes, uh, yeah, at the docks, uh, uh, berth 42, right, right next to where um, where, where the uh, allig Alligator 3 is moored. So what's the meetup time? Uh, t tomorrow, tomorrow at, uh, uh, tomorrow, 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 tomorrow at noon, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, it's going to be tonight. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Don't get too comfortable. We'll be there in no time. I'm trying to stretch my back. Um, we should call the police. No. Let's go with police. Don't think we'll be there in no time. I'm gonna go with police. The cops in Santa Esperanza aren't as straight as the cops in Vermont. Even so. I think they'll be delighted to see you at the station. I'm afraid not, Mr. Ness. I have to take him to Alphonse. Out of the question. I know his temper. He'll beat him to a pulp. Listen, if the missing girl was your granddaughter, you wouldn't forgive me if I didn't let you see the only suspect who could lead us to her. Okay. Damn. <laughs> He, all right, give him a beating, but don't kill him. What? I thought that bloodbath would cover up the smell of stale grease. I was wrong. Blood and dust. I'm liking this so far. For a first episode, this is good. I think, from what we just did of uh, matching the clues together, I think Elliot? this did a better job oh, than uh, Wolf Among Us. Oh, thank God just slightly here. better, I think. The lights were off, so I thought that... I'm sorry. I got out of the hospital late, then I went to the station to pick up Jim's check, and when they told me... I'm scared. Of what? What are you drinking? Juice. It's only juice. Juice and nothing else. Breathe on me. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it hasn't been a good day. What's happened? No! You knew! Knew about what? What's that gun doing there? Half true. The guy I know is having trouble with a two-bit mafioso. He asked me to go with him, just in case. I didn't have to get it out. Well, don't. Don't start taking on the mafia. Not now. You really don't know? No, I don't know. And if you keep up the guessing games, I'll never know. He's back. Who? Him. <sighs> I don't know why it still surprises me, but it's incredible that you were such a good detective, and yet you've never been able to understand people. Waldo. Capone.
Malone got out of jail. Oh, it's late. It's late. Where do you hear that? Chief Jenkins. Chief Jenkins? The same guy who said he was going to clean up Santa Esperanza, right? In that case, you can rest assured Capone like just put on his striped time. pajamas and in four minutes' time, he'll be snoring in his cell. Elliot, what if it's true? If he's out, what's the first thing he's going to do? Who does he hate more than anyone? Superiority, maybe? Let him come. He'll find the fastest waiter in Santa Esperanza. Before he can pull his gun, I'll have him dead drunk. Please, Elliot, don't joke. You're the only part of Jim's life that I have left. If you put yourself in danger, I... Please, no, but thanks. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do it as a sexual thing. I just wanted to, uh, like, comfort her. I should have gone with the shoulder. Cooking. Fried eggs are the devil's work. <laughs> What's going on, Elliot? We're closed. Can you wait outside for a couple of minutes, Milton? Sure, of course. Uh, although, I'm sorry to say, but we're short on time. Elliot. Um. Delphine? The case? Come in, Milton, come in. Delphine, I'll tell you later. Now... Oh. It's a little confusing sometimes. You never treat me like that again. I'm glad I could confirm that you're okay. Alright, this will be like the third time where I get confused by sometimes by like the choice I'm supposed no, to make. and it's none of your business. Sorry to butt in. I've brought your rapist costume for the party. Seriously, you're not... No, she's the wife of a friend who died in the line of duty, Jim Dockers. Oh. Mm. Alphonse told me about him. Your Alphonse killed him. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Ness. Although he's not the same man he was. Anyway, isn't the deal with marriage until death do us part? It's not that simple. There are other factors. Delphine and I have been friends a long time, and I don't have many friends. I can't risk losing her. Right. So you like her, but you don't have the nerve. Oh, yeah? What would you do? Women have never been one of my priorities. I'm sorry? <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> you screwed Alphonse good, didn't you? I don't think he holds it against me this far down the line. He's a new man now, right? Did you enjoy it? I'm a cop. Correction, I was a cop. You do the job you're given. End of story. I hear you. But you didn't finish the next job they gave you. Did they find those kids? No. How do I look? Like the invisible man in the movie. <laughs> no one's gonna buy it. Take it easy. Everything's going to work out fine. Hopefully we don't get screwed over at the end of this episode. Or after this meeting. Oh. I think the parents think the rapist took the kids and that's why he has the money. Just a little further. 
Just follow me. This plan is suicidal. We're gonna die. I don't think so. I don't think so. And may I ask why? It's not the first time I've done a job like this. And I never was any good at getting killed. There's a first time for everything, my friend. Milton, if you go on contradicting me, you're not going to get into your role. Don't forget, while we're here, you're supposed to be at my beck and call. While we're here? speak with Nikolai Ivankov. Can you help me? No, I'm sorry, pal. The mummy repair center is over on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> well, we tried being polite. Kick him in the balls, honey. It'd be my pleasure, uh, sweetie chops. Dakota. Yeah, my pleasure, Miss Dakota. Listen, friend, I've had to freeze my ass off on guard duty myself. Let me and my man pass, and you can carry on warming yourself up. The other option is for us to warm him up ourselves, Mr. Burke. Ah, you got one of those uppity Negroes, I see. If he's like that with me, think what he'd do with you. What the fuck? Who the hell do you think you are? I'm Osmond Burke. And I have an appointment with your boss. Your Burke? Why didn't you say so before? Come on in. That's what that thing is. It's supposed to be here. Where's the ship? Looking for someone. We arranged to meet Nikolai Ivankov at berth 42, but it looks like the ship isn't moored here. Has she set sail? <laughs> it isn't moored? <laughs> Maybe she sunk to the bottom of the ocean. The submarine. That's it? Wow. That's a bit anticlimactic, I think.
Don't show that. Oh, that was Alice, not Sophia. I'm sorry, Alice. I have to accept it. Do I get a, at least a preview? Force? What the hell? This is some psychological stuff. You know that we punish children who behave badly, don't you? <laughs> Yesterday it was Juliet who behaved badly. Do you remember? Uh huh. She hit Junior so she would finish ahead of him in the morning race. Do you know what we did to her? Mm -mm. Don't worry, you'll find out soon enough. Which do you prefer, the doll or the plush toy? Go with the doll. They're gonna burn it, aren't they? Oh. Two days ago, Mickey bit Tom so he could take his food. Do you know what we did with him? Bruno says you killed him. Bruno says many things. Which do you prefer, blonde hair or brown? Uh, my hair is brown. There's more than one. And today. You tried to escape. Do you know what the difference is? No. Juliet and Mickey hurt their friends so that we would not punish them. You tried to escape, but you did not harm your friends. Is that good? On the contrary, you tried to help Bruno, putting your own life in danger. Very few children would do that. It was good we did that then. We are going to punish you. <laughs> With hugs and kisses. But in a different way than Juliet and Mickey. Bruno, on the other hand, did something very similar to them. He betrayed you to avoid being punished. I'm yeah. sorry. Which of these two drawings do you like best? I like the right one, personally. Do they... Do they, um, drench things? Oh! Damn. <laughs> wow. It's a cold day. Well now, that was crazy. I gotta pee. But they might show something afterwards and I don't wanna miss anything. Not to fall into the boy. I don't care about nothing. See the world in my eyes, night come and go.
curious now why they went with that design of that monster or that mask thing. Character design. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Please release episode two. At least have a release date on the next episode. Is she here? My father asked you to take care of me. Is this how you respect a dead man's wishes? Screw everything I said. What? He's Al Capone. He may not have much left, but he'll have something. Life's full of little twists and turns, huh? Hey. Ah, oh, no pre no uh preview view determined. You chose to be nice. You remain calm after the taunting. Ooh. You asked him to request his fortune. You kept yourself sober. You were cruel to tough. Ah, I meant I wanted to be sensitive. That was my fault. Is that really it? I thought I'd... Well, I guess... Ah, these are the ones that really matter. <laughs> no. No. Well, I guess that's it for episode one of Blues and Bullets. Um... Excuse me, I'm... I was quite surprised. I... Expect it to be average, but it, it was great. I love the fact how, or what they did with how you have to solve this one murder clue. How do you piece together this murder? The witnesses, the weapons and such. That was, that was actually great to see. Um, one thing I don't like is the character design, the animation is a bit, I think, average to eh, you know? I'm going to compare it to a Telltale game, because one, it's an episodic game, this is. So Telltale also does episodic, so I want to compare the two on that. But graphic-wise, I'm going to do it only. I don't know if this was a designer's choice, but to have it black and white and then have it red on certain things, fine. It's perfect. I like it. It's just like the animations and such. It's like, I feel like you, if you stayed, if they stayed working on it a bit more, it would have been better. Maybe episode 2 and throughout will be like that. So. 
one, I can't wait for episode two. This is good so far. And best part, I mentioned it before on My Life is Strange and I think Game of Thrones, or at least to myself at least. I said before that on those two uh, series, I played in the middle. And for this one, I played it for the first time on episode one. So, it's great that I'm doing that. Well, I guess that is it for tonight. I wanted to, to play at least Minecraft Story Mode, episodes one through three, like all in one go. Maybe I can do episode one tonight or do Game of Thrones, I'm not sure yet. That time, I'm still awake. So, thank you guys and gals for watching me for tonight, and hope to see you soon.